John, uh, you're Julian Assange's father. Yes, yes. And uh, we're here sitting in London. Just a week or so's time, Julian's sentence for skipping bail will have been served and he'll be put on remand. What, what's going to happen next? Uh, Julian uh, uh, will uh, uh, no doubt uh, ask for a bail. He'll ask for a bail. Ask for, because we expect the uh, extradition case to take about three years. This is the US extradition in yes, Sweden. This is the US extradition. Um, last week, uh, Judge Baritza in the extradition court uh, said that, uh, in, said that, actually, I'll start again. Last week, Baritza, the judge uh, in Julian's case, said that bail was refused. Now this was a hearing, a technical hearing, which had nothing to do with the bail application. But the judge, in her wisdom, decided to hear a case that wasn't before her. So she heard the case of her own accord and refused bail. This comic action on behalf of the British judiciary is ongoing in Julian's matter. Um, judge Arbuthnot uh, in her hysterical summing up of Julian's case said that he ought to get a little bit of sun and stand on the balcony uh, when he was spent the last seven years in the Ecuadorian embassy. Judge Phillips, who saw Julian just for five minutes after he was dragged illegally out of the embassy, uh, decided that his law degree included a degree in psychology and declared Julian was a narcissist. This is just not possible. Um, overall, the resentment against Julian in the British judiciary is just extraordinary, particularly as the whole case is fraudulent. From beginning to end, the CPA, the Crown Prosecuting Authority, has manipulated procedure so that the case, so that the Swedish prosecuting service could not hear Julian's testimony. They worked together to extend this case for year after year after year, all the while. Julian and his lawyers were quite willing to be interviewed. It's nine years, four prosecutors, two interviews, that only took eight years to put a man on the moon. Why do you think the British judiciary is so biased against Julian? I think that they feel offended uh, because they haven't been able to assert power and authority over Julian's body. Because Julian has followed his rights to defend himself as strongly and as fiercely as possible. What would you like to see happen? I would like to see Julian return home to Australia, get well again, see his family and just live an ordinary life for a little while. Just to sit here and have coffee with us without fear of a jailer coming and saying it's time to go back in the cell or a mad um, security service man in the Ecuadorian embassy bumping him as he walked down the hallway or stealing all the toilet paper or taking his shaver or refusing to get allow food to be delivered or refusing access to lawyers. It's just gone on for years and years and years. It's a great scandal, a disgrace Actually, a commentary on the United Kingdom's judiciary is that London is, is with Wall Street, the greatest loan writer in the world. Often loans fall into disrepute, uh, sorry, into, into contention. Ruling, having passes, uh, impartial ruling on those loans is on those loan disputes is really important. It's clear now 
that the British judiciary is no longer able to be non-partisan in disputes. So this is an ongoing problem for the judiciary and ought to be fixed right now and Julian's case dropped and an apology given and compensation paid. John, thank you. Bit of a rant. Thank you.